Hello guys, today we're going over another bad week here. And again, this week is obviously photoshopped. Obviously here. But yeah, but we the, 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 the pictures don't have to be authentic. But we're going over these four characters here. From likeliness to unlikeliness. Two, the first character is Ringo Andu. The first character, I, this is character is the least likely considering that all the Poyo Poyo characters in the Poyo Poyo universe, our knowledge are the most requested. It's just odd to see this character requested over our Naja. Odd, very, very odd. You know, Ringo Ando. Also, it's a real character name, but again, it's Japan. They have, they're, they're different than we are. Okay, next is Hajime Hinata. Definitely not happening. No matter how many times you want your random anime games or Smash Bros. I know Dingo Wapa is actually more bigger than your average anime game. But it's still not as popular as Persona. Don't really think Dengu Wapa. And also, Dengu Wapa is basically a PlayStation exclusive franchise. So that's not happening either. You know, Saw. Oh yeah, we, I already made over a video. I already, there was a, I already made over a week that said that said Saw will not be in Smash. And these people still think that Saw will be has a chance at Smash Bros. Like, Saw is another character. He's like, it's like Zeno. He's a pipe seam character. We all know, you know, he will not be, you know... In Smash Bros. We all know he won't appear in Smash Bros. I know the Sora fanboys really want to see him in Smash Bros. But come on guys. Sora won't be in Smash Bros. Like Zeno, Like Sante. And all these other characters that are very high up on the most white class of characters. But unlike King K. Roll and Ridley. They're not owned by Nintendo. So Nintendo has to go for more work putting these characters in Smash Bros. The reason why King K. Roll and Ridley got in. Because Nintendo owns them. And Banzo Kazooie. Because Microsoft wanted Banzo Kazooie and Smash Bros. They were okay with it. So Nintendo didn't have to go for many hoops. Like they would have to go with Sora, with Disney, Xeno, you know, of course, and Sante, you know, as well. You know, they have to go for more hoops because we don't know about and again, but you know, Xeno will probably say, Oh, but Hero in Final Fantasy are in Smash Bros. So clearly, but again, Xeno is very irrelevant to even the Mario franchise, okay? And Nintendo wanted to add another Mario character. They're going to add a character that they own. Not go for hoops and hurdles. To add some irrelevant character. That's only been in one game. And yes, the Xenoks are all just like this video. But it's true. They, he won't be in Smash Bros. The next character is Paper Mario. Which according to the Smash community is deconfirmed. You know, even though they only put like free spirits from Paper Mario to Origami King. Instantly deconfirmed. That, that's basically the Smash community right, right there. They're like, you know, again, even though we all know spirits do not deconfirm characters, but they're still quick to deconfirm Paper Mario because free spirits, you know, you know, because free spirits are points per game, but they'll, 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 they'll claim, oh, but no, 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 but, oh, I know, you know, Spirits and Evil does not deconfirm, but Spirits and Evil does not deconfirm, but Paper Mario, oh, that totally deconfirms, okay, totally, free, free spirits, totally deconfirms, okay, and yeah, the other two characters are characters that are in the game as well. So yep, there we go. That's basically it. You know, I can't wait to play as Steve and Smash Bros. That made me not 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 hurt too much. Maybe he might be not be as bad as I think he is, but I watched I watched the play I watched the gameplay of you know Min Min. She's basically just another little Mac. You know, she has a pretty bad recovery. She has she does a lot of damage. At least her aerials are at least better than Widow Max. That's the only good thing about Min Min. That's the only good thing. At least her aerials are better than Widow Mac. Which is probably why she's much higher on the tier list than Widow Mac is. But yep, there we go. That's another Smash Bros. prediction watch the week. It's it's horrible. Like the rest of them. That's basically it. Goodbye.